I'm getting carried away with these autumn scenes. It is autumn after all. But the weather today is a bit wintry, it's uh, cold, well it's about 50 degrees Fahrenheit. About 10 degrees at the moment, it's raining. Promise to brighten up later, so what better thing to do than have another go of a, a similar type of mountainous type of uh, scene with autumn leaves, so we'll uh, wet the paper just as much as how to do it as anything else. I'll just give the paper a good wet. soak in a little bit. I've done a very very loose drawing of just a mountains in the back and going off into the distance and some warmer landscape hills coming down here and a bit of a bank there and bank it over here. Just a pot boiler really but if I put it but the simple things if they're done well uh, can really take your breath away. And I call them profound simplicity. Right, okay, let's uh, get in with some, uh, some nice burnt sienna. Over there, in the water here as well. And now some, some I think we'll use Payne's Grey in the sky here. Payne's Grey and alizarin. Got a good soft mix there. A little bit of water. And the heavier clouds up the top. And as they come down to the uh, to the mountains we can put them in a smaller and just repeat in the water what you've got in the sky. Dark, darkish. I'll just put in a bit of uh, burnt sienna. Right, okay, let that go. Uh, just uh, reclip the paper as it expands. And I'll give it a little dry on the horizon. I don't really want to lose all of the background. Okay. Right, the background, so a bit of blue. And then we'll go a, a warmer colour. A bit of burnt sienna mixed with the ultramarine. Coming down. Down here, put some uh, autumn colours in. So come down to the horizon. When the brush splits, just draw it together again. Try and get my horizon on my bank. Horizontal. Quite a challenge really when you're working like this. 90 degree angle. That's okay. Then we just I'll just go along there with a bit of uh, raw sienna, just to lighten it up a little bit. So a little bit of beach there. Now it's just a bit of bit of colour in there, I think. Then I'll mix in some 
darker colour with the, the ultramarine and some burnt sienna. Gently just flick in some, some trees coming up here. I'm going to superimpose some yachts on this, so you want some of it dark where you're going to put the uh, your sails so that they, they show up. Just a bit of modelling on the uh, distant bank there in those trees. And then we can put a bit of green in there. Just on here gives another plane okay that's quite interesting and we'll go in with the uh, the warmer colours on this side now I'm making this up as I go along it doesn't exist other than in the tip of my brush. So we want some harder edged stuff here. So um, and I can etch in some rocks I think. So, so a bit of bit of uh, burnt umber and uh, ultramarine. A bit of like red. So we just Put them in there, coming across to here. Change the colours as we come down. And we'll put some uh, burnt sienna in over that. Some real good darks in there, dark greens. Go back over that. Well, with my card, I'll just. in some strata show some cliffs showing through there my dark in there so I'm going to just put it back then etch into that with the card a little bit let's just put some some rocks on the long there And I'll just lift out some don't overdo it like I am. Now we'll put in a rocky shore in here using uh, burnt umber and uh, ultramarine. with uh, various other colours and 
So that when you etch into it, it gives a variety in the actual colour of the rock. Keep this wet, but we've quite a good thick thickness of paint in there. See why I'm doing this in a hope in a minute. And into the base there. And then so when I when I etch into that it will show various colours. Just random, the smaller as you're going away. So that was shaking. Right, that's the best way I know of, of doing these. But it works. I'm going to do the same here and just to have a little bit of a beach uh, coming across here. Lift up some grasses and things. Just some flicks here and there. Put some rocks back in there. Do some do some detail on that. All right. Um, I need to dry that off now because we need some reflections. Then we need some uh, trees. <laughs> The foreground isn't strong enough yet. It, it, it's a bit all a bit flat in apart from the background. This is all a bit samey, but I'll put the detail in here with uh, the twigs and the branches and the autumn leaves. But I want to a little bit of clean water. I want to start there 
and get the reflections coming underneath that wetted bit. We'll leave the white on that horizon there to show broken water. Right, now we're going with those colours. But not too sloppy, otherwise it won't register. So we'll just go the green. And then a bit of sienna. Then back to the green. Light violety colour there, just showing there. And here we've got a just slightly darker version of it. Try to match, but roughly, what's there, what's above it, and I'm quite happy with that, let's dry that off. Now some uh, some trees. How's that looking? Yeah, that's looking good. Let's try not to ruin it. So burnt umber, uh, burnt sienna, ultramarine. Oh, we'll, uh, we'll have a, a tree coming up here. The usual. Look, it just gives a hit and miss. Oh. I don't want, I want one, one um, to be strong and one not to be so strong. I don't want them to compete. Oh, we'll have this one as a strong one, the middle one, going up there and up into the heavens. dark bit here. If the trunks were big enough you can show the shadows cast by the, the, the branches. Just anchor that. Shout with your fingers and glasses, fingernail. Come on, just going, be going out, out there, out the side. Right, sticking up there a little bit. Leave some light showing through. Now, 
I'll do the other side. I'm not going to put the leaves on yet. I'm going to do some, a, a much lesser tree here. It's good to balance it up, but don't do equal weighted trees. To do one subordinate to the other, otherwise it just looks naff. It divides the picture and pulls you in both directions at the same time, and, and that's not good. So we'll we'll have, just have a bit of a bit of a twiggy. Frondy thing here, another one there. Oh, we can use a bit of a rigger finish on those but it seems that my dark is mostly being made now from ultramarine and uh, burnt sienna gives lovely lovely warm rich darks Brings a bit of shadow in coming through there. Now I've done the same now, haven't I? So let's just take that one up a little bit. Right, that'll do. I'll dry my brush, I'll put some water on the palette for dipping. Finally, put in some yachts on the back background just to give some interest there. Nice and dry. Right, uh, let's get in some greens. Some down below as well, just indicate some twigs and branches going out at the back of the tree. Now we'll do some nice autumny colours in there. I'm going to make some darker ones with burnt sienna and ultramarine. Them turning, bit on the background now. Turning leaves. Okay, and some on the other side. Show some leaves on. Oh, I'll go right, show there. Put some uh, twigs back in there. And My radio is attached now, I hope it doesn't uh, get me banned. Then we'll get this video banned. Right, so I think we'll let that go. Let's just put in some yachts. Put my 
all white paint handy here. Just wetting my brush with some paint, so let's just put it uh, Reflection of those, spell it, I'll sign it, and then we'll put it in the mount and just have a look, see what it's uh, what we've done. Uh, I don't want to sign it right in the middle. I think my rig is getting a bit thin now, it's, and that's probably why I'm struggling on these yachts. It's, uh, I've got some smaller, some smaller old brushes. Let's see if I have much better luck with those. This one here. That uh, reflection has uh, gone into the water. It is an impression on the wall. Right, let's uh, see what we've done. I'll push it in a mount. Well, I can find what we've done here. A bit of a melee up here. I had a very, very quick sort out to take 27 of these demos to an art gallery in uh, Purley, the Opal Gallery. There's a framer. And she will uh, try and sell them for me and some oil paintings as well. Right, there we are. We'll, we'll call this a... This will be a tutorial, I think. It, it doesn't exist. It's just... I'm just on a roll with these at the moment. Till I find some another way to go. I'm quite happy doing these, and I hope you are too. I'll zoom you in, then you can have a good look at what I've done. Then my boats and the reflections. Could have always put some buildings in there with a bit of bit of white gouache or something. And there's my tree, the base of which is lost in, in, in the anchoring of it. Oh, I think that looks good. If I say so myself. Nice light in the sky coming through. Right, thanks for watching. Bye bye.